everyone, this is Kevin here with Divinely Designed, and today I have a super uh, special video. So, as some of you may know, I got chosen to be on Brambleberry's Spring Soap Panel, um, a group of soapers who they send out fragrances to and ask them to test them and uh, give their impressions about them and write blog posts and do videos and things like that. So um, I, I was super honored to be chosen and uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun. So this video is just my, my first impressions of the fragrance. I just got them today and I haven't smelled them at all. I'm gonna do this on, on, on camera for the, you know, as I smell them and um, just give my, my first impressions of them, what they smell like out of the bottle. And then I have a, a sheet that I made up that I'm gonna take some notes on. Um, I will use these in some cold process soaps uh, to follow up. I was gonna try and do it today because I was kind of excited, but I didn't get them till late in the day and I was busy with work, um, so it's kind of late. So uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna wait um, to, until maybe tomorrow or, or the next day. I'll see when I have time to do it that I can make sure I'm gonna do um, each soap or each fragrance uh, justice by spending some time doing it. So I see my cat is in the background on the dining room table where he shouldn't be and he's probably stealing the show. But anyway, um, okay, that's Apollo. All right, so we got, um, so this is their little logo, soap, right? So it's for uh, Soapers Opinions uh, from Awesome People, I think is what it stands for, so something, something silly like that. But, um, uh, and then I got um, eight little bottles um, each of which contains a fragrance and is labeled with a specific number, okay? But otherwise, I don't know anything about the fragrances uh, other than their number. So here we go. All right. Okay, so the fragrance number one. Mmm, that smells good. Chocolate and coffee? Yeah, definitely. Ugh, something mocha. That smells so good. I just mixed a fragrance like this um, uh, using some other fragrances and it smells very similar to this. So um, a delicious like mocha scent. Okay, fragrance number two. Hmm. It's, it's subtle. Hmm. I'm having a hard time placing this one. It's not bad. It smells good. I don't know if I have, I just have a lot of that sort of mocha smell in my nose. It smells a little similar. Something kind of sweet and bakery, maybe? I'm not sure about that. It's good. I kind of like it, but I can't put my finger on it. Okay, number three. Hmm, okay, another kind of subtle one. It smells kind of clean, kind of like a, a, a watery scent. Yeah, something, hmm, uh, that's nice, very nice. Maybe a little bit of, oh, something floral. Yeah, something watery and floral. Very nice, feminine kind of scent, I would say. Mmm, very nice, very nice fragrance. I think people, like if this were a perfume, like women who don't like strong fragrances or can't tell, I think they would, that this would do well because it's, it's sort of subtle and nice and floral and sweet and very nice, so. Okay, number four. Oh wait. Oh, this is, I'm having a hard time now. Let's see. Hold on. Oh, this is familiar, and I can't put my finger on it. Oh wait, maybe chocolate. Yeah, chocolate. Something chocolatey. And something else. Peppermint. Maybe yeah, a little bit. Pepper, yeah, like a peppermint mocha kind of. Hmm. Hmm, I like that. That's a good, like, chocolatey fragrances. Or coffee and chocolate. 
Okay, number five. Hmm. I don't know. It's not strong. It's something a little bit earthy. Oh, I'm having a hard time with this one. It smells, it's a weird mix. Like I'm getting kind of like earthy and sweet. I don't know. A lot of things are smelling sweet to me tonight. I can't place that one. It's it's nice. I wouldn't I wouldn't say I love it, but um, I certainly don't hate it. But um, it's not bad. Um, that was number five. Okay, number six. Uh, you cannot see it on camera right now, but both of my cats are sitting right below my cat, uh, right below my camera, watching me smell like fragrances. <laughs> All right, number six. Oh, uh, this smells like a fresh, a fresh scent, like a, a linen or, you know, like a, like a, like a laundry kind of, stop, a laundry scent. Ah, come on, knock it off. Oh my God, I'm sorry. My cat is being a pain. All right, number seven. Mmm, I smell cucumbers. Stop! He keeps, he keeps rubbing on the camera. <laughs> and that's why you see it shaking. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I smell cucumber. Something fresh. Fresh and cucumbery and, and springy. Mmm, that's nice. I like that fragrance. That la I didn't talk about well, that last one, number six. So a laundry fragrance. That was number six. I kind of, my cat was distracting me. It's nice, it's, um, but it, it's, uh, yeah, it's a laundry, I think it's like a fresh, clean laundry kind of fragrance. That's what I get from it. Okay, finally, number eight. Hmm, this is nice. It smells a little cologne-y to me. Like a men's cologne kind of thing. This seems like a, this seems like a more complex fragrance. I'm get, I'm getting, I think like a lot of little things here. Some, I think some, maybe some herbal notes and something earthy, but it, but it has that cologne kind of tinge to it. It's nice. I like it. I, I would wear this, I think, as a fragrance, as a cologne. Oh my God, stop. Yeah, good Lord. Okay, all right, so that's all eight of them. Just my first impressions out of the bottle. I'm gonna have to say though that this, number one, I think I'm coming back to number one. Oh, that smells so good. <laughs> I, want, I want to drink this, it smells so good. Um, maybe I just like coffee kind of mocha fragrances, but anyway. Okay, all right, so those are my first impressions out of the bottle for uh, Brambleberry's Soap Spring 2015. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do all of these in cold process soap. I'm probably not gonna film that because it's just gonna be a basic, you know, I'm gonna do one bar for each fragrance and kind of put them in uh, the Brambleberry square silicone mold. So I'll do one bar per fragrance and, um, I'll take some notes on how it, how it performs during, um, during the making of the cold process soap. Um, you know, does it rice? Does it accelerate? Does it uh, separate? What, you know, how does it perform while you're actually making soap? I'll put it in some molds and then I'm gonna let them sit and then um, smell them in, their, in the finished product in soap and see if we have any color changes and I'll put that video um, later on. Excuse me, I'll put that video on later on, okay? All right, that's it from Divinely Design. So, Check back here for more videos and probably, I don't know, maybe in a week or so, hopefully I'll have another video on the soap, uh, the Brambleberry Soap Spring 2015 panel. Okay, thanks everyone. See y'all later.